Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Simplehan lang natin para maintindihan at hindi madaling kalimutan. Simulan natin sa napapanaong topic, which is the COVID-19. Siyempre, kabisado na natin ang mga tungkol dyan. Kaya tatalakayin natin ngayon ay yung mga may kinalaman sa isyo na yan na makakatulong sa inyong board exam, siyempre. Meron tayong tinatawag na chain of infection, na kung saan, Magkakaugnay ang mga ito para makahawa ng sakit sa ibang tao, kaya importante malaman natin itong mga ito para alam din natin kung paano ito bubuwagin. Una sa lahat ay ang infectious agent. These are pathogens that causes diseases like viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites. At alam naman natin lahat na ang COVID-19 ay isang virus. Next is the reservoir. It is the place where the infectious agent lives and multiplies. Gaya ng tao, hayop, pagkain, o mga gamit. Dito pa lang malalaman na natin kung paano siya mapipigilan. Dito na papasok yung pagdidisinfect at pagiging malinis sa kapaligiran at katawan. Meron din tayong tinatawag na portal of exit. It is the means by which a pathogen exits from a reservoir. Halimbawa, kapag sa COVID-19, ang portal of exit ay ang bibig at ilong kapag nagsalita, bumahing o umubo ang isang tao. Sa link na ito, ang pwede nating gawin ay ang tinatawag na respiratory etiquette, which is done by covering your mouth and nose while coughing or sneezing. Idagdag pa natin ang paggamit ng face mask at paghugas o pagsanitize ng mga kamay. Next is the mode of transmission. It is the way the infectious agent can be transferred. Gaya ng sa COVID-19, natatransmit siya sa pamagitan ng droplets, bagay o gamit na nahawakan ng infected na tao at yung sa latest na pag-aaral na pati airborne na din. Kaya importante yung sinasabi nilang at least 2 meters na distance at mas okay kapag nasa open space. Then, We also have portal of entry. It is the way the infectious agent can enter a new host. So COVID-19, it is via respiratory tract. Finally, susceptible host. This can be any person. Walang pinipili ang COVID, pero syempre ang priority natin dito yung mga taong mahina ang immune system. Gaya ng mga bata, matanda at mga may chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension at any cardiac or respiratory problems. So, ayan yung mga chain of infection na malagang malaman natin para alam natin kung paano siya masisira o mapigilan. Another topic that is related to this is the epidemiology. Pati na rin yung patterns of occurrence and distribution gaya ng sporadic, endemic, epidemic, at pandemic. Refresh lang natin yung kaalaman natin tungkol sa mga ito. According to CDC, Epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinants of health-related states and events in specified populations. It is also the application of this study to the control of health problems. Let's now check the difference between sporadic, endemic, epidemic, and pandemic. Kapag sinabing sporadic, Lagi niyong tatandaan na ito ay nangyayari lamang occasionally, and cases are few and scattered. It is an intermittent occurrence of a few isolated and unrelated cases in a given locality. Next is endemic. Sa endemic naman, madalas siyang mangyari sa isang lugar. Kumbaga, inaasahan na sa lugar na yun ang ganong kaso. Halimbawa, ang iskistosomiasis sa Leyte at Samar, at ang filariasis sa Sorsogon. The disease is therefore always occurring in the locality and the level of occurrence is more or less constant through a period of time. Meron din tayong tinatawag na epidemic. It is defined as unusually large number of cases in a relatively short period of time. Kumbaga, bigla ang dami ng kaso at hindi siya inaasahan. Pero within a community, 
population or region lang, tapos within a short period of time lang din. Samantala ang pandemic na lagi nating naririnig dahil sa COVID-19 is the simultaneous occurrence of epidemic of the same disease in several countries. It is a worldwide spread of certain disease. That's it for today. I hope you learned something. Stay safe and healthy everyone. Keep on learning nurses. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.